नमस्कार वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ प्रिंस सिविल सर्विसेज इन व्यू ऑफ आई ए एस आर एस एंड अदर स्टेट पी सी एस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन वी प्रेजेंट टू यू आर एक्सक्लूसिव सीरीज टू एड योर करंट अफेयर्स नॉलेज वी होप इट हेल्प्स यू इन योर एग्जाम्स ऑल द बेस्ट देर इज अ क्वेश्चन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सीरीज फॉर यू टू आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी आस्क यू अर क्वेश्चन इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज ऑफ वेस्ट अफ्रीका हैज द फर्स्ट केस ऑफ हाईली कंटीजियस and deadly marburg virus been confirmed and the right answer is c guinea in august 2021 confirmed the first case of the highly contagious and deadly marburg virus in the west african country of guinea in guinea a patient suffering from this rare and infectious marburg virus disease died according to the world health organization this is the first case of ebola like virus in west africa it may be recalled that the new virus has come to light within 2 months of guinea announcing the end of the ebola outbreak from the country early this year samples of the patients of the marburg virus which causes hemorrhage fever were taken from gorkado town of guinea gorkado is the same region where ebola spread in 2021 and that was the initial identity of ebola in west africa during 2014 16 It may be known that Guecado is a town near the border of Sierra Leone and Liberia in southern Guinea. Marburg is spread by fruit eating bats. Now let's begin our today's session. Your first question is the Tamil Nadu government has decided to celebrate the death anniversary of which poet and freedom fighter as Mahakavi Divas. Your options are A MS Subbalakshmi, B VN Reddy, C Subramaniam Bharti or D N Rangaswamy and the right answer is C Subramaniam Bharti the Tamil Nadu government has decided to celebrate the death anniversary of flamboyant poet and freedom fighter Subramaniam Bharti as Mahakavi Divas Subramaniam Bharti's death anniversary is celebrated on September 11th the year 2021 is the 100th death anniversary of the poet his actions ignited patriotism and left an indelible mark on Tamil literature he was a Tamil writer poet and social reformer He is known as Mahakavi Bharti. He was the pioneer of modern Tamil poetry and is regarded as the greatest Tamil literature ever. Hence, the right answer is C. Subramaniam Bharti. Your next question is, which country has hosted the virtual BRICS summit? Your options are A. Brazil, B. India, C. China, or D. Russia. The right answer is B. India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired the 13th BRICS summit. on September 9, 2021 virtually India has chosen the theme of the summit as BRICS at 15 Intra BRICS cooperation for continuity consolidation and consensus the summit was attended by all other BRICS leaders namely Brazilian president Jair Bolsonaro Russian president Vladimir Putin Chinese president Xi Jinping and South African president Cyril Ramaphosa during the summit the Indian prime minister appreciated the cooperation received from BRICS partners during the chairmanship of india this year hence the right answer is b india your next question is with which country india has partnered to launch the center of excellence on offshore wind your options are a denmark b sweden c norway or d uk and the right answer is a denmark union minister for new and renewable energy r k singh met danish minister for climate energy and utilities Dan Jorgensen in New Delhi. The meeting highlighted that green energy change is an important part of India's policy. India has set a target of 450 gigawatt of renewable energy capacity by 2030. The two ministers jointly launched the Center of Excellence on Offshore Wind under the Green Strategic Partnership. Hence the right answer is A Denmark. Your next question is on which date in September is celebrated as Himalayan Divas? Your options are A September 5, B September 6. C September 8 or D September 9 and the right answer is D September 9 National Mission for Clean Ganga organized Himalayan Day on September 9 2021 in collaboration with Nola Foundation This year's theme is contribution of Himalayas and our responsibilities Himalayan Day is celebrated every year on 9th September in the state of Uttarakhand It is celebrated with the objective of preserving the Himalayan ecosystem and region And the right answer is D September 9. Your next question is which ministry has launched Swachh Sarvekshan Gramin 2021? Your options are A Ministry of Rural Development, B Ministry of Jal Shakti, C Ministry of Tourism and Culture or D Ministry of Finance. And the right answer is B Ministry of Jal Shakti. Shri Prahlad Singh Patel, Minister of State in the Ministry of Jal Shakti, launched Swachh Sarvekshan Gramin 2021. 
under Swachh Bharat Mission Gramin Term 2. It was launched on September 9, 2021 at an event organized by the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation. Swachh Sarvekshan Gramin 2021 will be run by the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation across the country. Hence, the right answer is B, Ministry of Chal Shakti. Your next question is, who has been appointed as India's Sherpa for G20? Your options are A. Rajnath Singh, B. Piyush Goyal, C. S. Jaishankar, or D. R. K. Singh? And the right answer is B. Piyush Goyal. Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal has been appointed India's Sherpa for G20. G20 is an influential group that brings together major economies of the world. The next G20 summit is scheduled to be chaired by Italy from October 30 to 31, 2021. India will preside over the G20 from December 1, 2022 and hold the G20 Leaders Summit for the first time in 2023. G20 is an intergovernmental forum consisting of 19 countries and European Union. Hence the right answer is B. Piyush Goyal. Your next question is, what is Krupp Typhus that has been in the news recently? Your options are A. Storm, B. Viral Fever, C. A type of butterfly or D. Silkworm. And the right answer is B. Viral Fever. Recently, a mysterious fever was reported from parts of Uttar Pradesh which claimed nearly 40 lives in a week, mostly children. This viral fever has been identified as Scrub Typhus. Scrub Typhus is a re-emerging rickets cell infection. The Spectre-Borne disease has been reported earlier in India and other South Asian countries. The disease causes fever and rashes. It also affects the central nervous system, heart system, respiratory system and the kidney system. Hence the right answer is B. Viral Fever. Your next question is, which state recently announced its plan to set up India's first Dagong Conservation Reserve in the Park Gulf on the southeastern coast? Your options are A. Andhra Pradesh, B. Kerala, C. Tamil Nadu, or D. Odisha. The right answer is C. Tamil Nadu. The Tamil Nadu government recently announced its plan to set up India's first Dagong Conservation Reserve in the Park Gulf on the southeast coast. Dagong or sea cow is an endangered marine mammal. It is facing extinction due to loss of habitat, marine pollution and loss of marine grass. Dagong is found in the Gulf of Mannar and Park Bay in Tamil Nadu. Hence the right answer is C. Tamil Nadu. Which country has become the first Asian country to launch a plastic agreement plastics pack. Your options are A. India, B. China, C. Bhutan, or D. Nepal. And the right answer is A. India. India has become the first Asian country to launch the plastics agreement plastics pack. The agreement aims to exclude plastic packaging from the economy and natural environment. The agreement provides time-bound goals for reducing plastic packaging, making innovations. Under this agreement, 100% plastic packaging will be made reusable or recyclable. 50% plastic packaging will be recycled effectively. Hence, the right answer is A. India. Your next question is, how many wetlands have been included in the Ramsar list from India recently? Your options are A. 3, B. 4, C. 5 or D. 6. And the right answer is B. 4. Four more wetlands have been added to the Ramsar list from India. The four sites included are Thol from Gujarat, Wadwana from Gujarat, Sultanpur from Haryana, Bindwa from Haryana. With the latest increase, the number of Ramsar sites in India has reached 46. Ramsar list was created with the objective of developing and maintaining an international network of wetlands which are important for preserving global biological diversity and maintaining human life to preserve the ecosystem components, processes and benefits. Hence the right answer is B. And now a question for you. When is the International Tiger Day observed? Your options are A. July 26, B. July 27, C. July 28 or D. July 29. Do not forget to answer in the comment section below. This session will be broadcasted three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Please do like and subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon so you don't miss on our notifications. Thank you for being with us. Jai Hind.